Welcome to this Bell Direct series on small cap CEO interviews. I'm Julia Lee, an equity strategist with Bell Direct, and today it's my pleasure to be joined by Brad O'Connor from Cogstate. Now, Cogstate is an interesting company. Its main clients are pharmaceutical companies which are engaging in clinical trials or research. What Cogstate does is it provides software as well as services to measure cognition in that research and those trials. So let's start off by asking Brad about his company. I mean, it's a service and software that not a lot of people would have heard of. So can you explain a little bit more about your product, Brad? Yeah, th thanks for having me. So what Cogstate does is we offer technology and solutions largely to the clinical trial services industry. So our customers include big pharmaceutical companies who are running clinical trials around the world. And we provide expertise in respect of the measurement of cognition. And when we say cognition, essentially all we're talking about is thinking. So we generally work with pharma companies as they're developing drugs uh, that treat diseases that impact on the way people think. So diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, schizophrenia, uh, depression, they're, they're largely the indications in which we work. And what we offer is uh, some technology. So uh, Cogstate has its own tests that measure cognition, measure how someone thinks. And then we provide services around that to make sure that we manage the quality of the data that goes back to our customers. Interestingly, recently you've seen a big jump in revenue. What's driving this and what type of growth do you envisage for your company? Yeah, so a couple of things have impacted our growth over the last 24 months. Um, you're right in, in that there's some industry tailwinds behind us. So there's an increased uh, amount of expenditure on research areas, particularly in Alzheimer's disease um, and depression, oncology, as well we're doing a lot of work in. Um, so that's been a, a huge contributor to our growth over the last couple of years. The other thing though that's really important to understand is that we spent a long time getting Cogstate technology validated, so accepted by our customers and accepted by the key opinion leaders around the world. Um, and then over the last couple of years what we've been able to do is to add a commercial business development team. Uh, so because of that level of commercial and scientific validation that we received for our product. So we took our, that commercial business development team took our sales from uh, 9 million US um, contract sales for the financial year 14 to 23.7 million of new sales contracts in financial year 15 and we're thinking we'll do somewhere around in the order of around 30 million dollars of new contract sales this financial year, financial year 16. So it sounds like contract wins are important for your business. What do you see as a, as a key catalyst for your business over the next 12 to 18 months? For our business, we work on uh, the financials of our business are, are really driven by uh, the amount of contracts we sign. So the leading indicator for us is always contracts signed. We started financial year 16 with a much stronger uh, contract order book in place which meant that we had revenues uh, contracted at the start of the year and then we've been able to grow that by signing additional contracts through the year. We'll start financial year 17 which, with an even stronger order book, so even stronger level of contracts in place. We see the industry trends continuing in terms of the increase in research uh, in areas like Alzheimer's disease. And so we believe that we'll be able to grow even further off that, uh, off that strong starting point and really start to see some leverage into our business, uh, financial leverage into our business in uh, financial years 17 and 18. Financial year 16 will record uh, a profit. We, we just released uh, our half year results that showed a, uh, uh, showed a good um, earnings before interest and tax for the, for the half year. We expect that to continue into the second half of this year and then to really see some leverage into the business as we grow revenues uh, into financial year 17 and 18. And what do you see as the key risks? Yeah, so the, we, we essentially are combined with a group of companies that call themselves clinical trial services companies. So not really a, a, an industry that exists um, in Australia per se, but large companies around the world uh, uh, 
companies like Quintiles, PRA International, Icon are all um, New York Stock Exchange listed companies who provide services to pharmaceutical companies as they run their clinical trials. We don't compete with those large companies, but instead what we do is provide a niche service that complements those, uh, those services provided by those larger, what are called CROs, contract research organisations. So one of the, you know, the, the big risk for us is really execution and, uh, and expansion of our brand. Um, as the, we, we're seeking to become you know, the leaders in the measurement of cognition. So when, when, when either the pharmaceutical companies or the CROs are thinking about measurement of cognition in their clinical trial, that they think of Cogstate naturally. The big risk for us is really, are we of a size and scale capable of taking on those big phase three studies? So we've grown our employee base over the last uh, 12 to 18 months from around 40 people up to 125 people now, but we're going to need to continue to grow uh, to be able to service these larger contracts that we're seeking to win at the moment. So there's always a balancing act in making sure that we've got the services in place and the, and the people in place to be able to deliver on our contracts, but we're not letting our costs run, get ahead of ourselves and we maintain um, you yeah, the financial model that we've, uh, that we've put in place. So over the last 12 months we've been really disciplined, we've been able to do that um, to maintain that financial model and the, the gross margins that we're seeking in our business which is around 60%. Um, but the, probably the big risk for us is as we take on more and more work that we, that we manage those margins and we continue to do, deliver that profit, uh, bottom line profit. It does sound like your business is quite people intensive. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, it's a soft. We essentially we provide software, but it's uh, there's a lot of manual services that go around that. So in many ways, we're we're selling out people's time. So whether they be data managers or statisticians or project managers, but people who are involved in making sure that the that the data that's collected in the clinical trial is accurate, is reliable, um, that it follows all the appropriate regulatory. Uh, guidance from the FDA and the EMA in Europe, um, good clinical practice, and that we, what we can deliver to our customer is data that they can rely on and they can take to the regulator to, as they seek approval of their drug. And that was Brad O'Connor from Cogstate, stock code CGS. Thank you so much for joining us this time for the Small Cap CEO Series. I'm Julia Lee from Bell Direct. Hope to see you next time.